seen those faces I've heard all the lies But you ain't gazing On someone in denial Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down My name is Leanne and welcome to The Balanced Lifestyle. Today I have for you another What I Eat in the Day, a vegan, a vegan based diet. Um, I am not completely plant based. I still use vegan mayonnaise and vegan dips and cheeses and stuff like that. I haven't transitioned out of that yet. I don't know if I will. I might. Um, but I wanted to let you know that I listed down below the reason, my video, to the reason why I decided to go vegan at least for 30 days. It's probably going to be longer. It's probably going to be at least a couple of months. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but check out that video down below and it'll explain why I am doing this. So today I've already had my breakfast, which I've shown you. And it is now two o'clock. I've been busy at work and I have not eaten lunch yet. So I'm kind of going to just make a quick lunch and show you what I'm going to have. If you are new to my channel, again, welcome. My name is Leanne. And on this channel, I do a lot of what I eat in the days, some healthy grocery hauls, and I talk about my weight loss journey. Right now, I'm not in the mode of trying to lose weight. I'm trying to work out this vegan diet and try to um, see how it works for me. But in the two weeks that I've done this, I've lost five pounds. So that is something. And that was without even trying. Not No calorie counting, counting, no restrictions, no nothing. Restrictions as far as any kind of plant-based restrictions. Um, but right now I am going to make my lunch. So it's going to be just quick and easy. I'm going to make myself a salad with some tomatoes and I am going to be making a lemon vinaigrette with it. And I am just going to air fry this baby sweet potato. Um, and that's going to be it for lunch because in a couple of hours I am going to be making dinner and I will show you what I have there also. So uh, let's get cooking. So into my bowl of sweet potatoes, I'm just going to add a little bit of salt, some pepper, some smoked paprika, some garlic powder, and some Italian seasoning. And I'm just gonna spray a little bit of olive oil spray over top, not much. So I am just going to toss this and then get it on an air fryer um, tray and air fry them till they are crispy. So I hope you can hear me over the air fryer. It's kind of loud. I'm just going to be making a, like a lemon vinaigrette and I'm just going to save it in my mason jar here. So what I have is about one and a half lemons chopped up. I have some garlic powder, some salt, pepper, some red wine vinegar, 
and a little bit of Dijon mustard. I'm just going to eyeball everything, get it into my mason jar, and that will be my salad dressing. And oh, do you think about the things we used to do? No, you couldn't stand tall. So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by, but I think about you, about you all the time. Hi, so now I am going to taste it. Oh, there's another seed in there. Mmm, so good. Perfect, you don't even need oil when you use mustard. Definitely replaces it and saves on calories. So into my salad, I have some of these organic croutons. There is no dairy, no nothing in these. And they even have some seeds and stuff in them, which are really good for you. And then I have these sprouted seeds. They are seasoned with thyme, I believe. I'm just gonna put a few on there. And then I also have some slivered almonds, which I am gonna put on top. I love crunching my salad. So this is definitely right up my alley. And of course you want to make sure that you watch on how many nuts and seeds or nuts that you eat because of they are high in calories but a few in my salad makes them very good and then i'm just going to put a couple of tablespoons of this dressing that i made on top About two and a half maybe three and save the rest for another salad and since I still have about seven maybe ten minutes on my potatoes I am just going to eat this now and I will show you the potatoes when they're done so here are my sweet potatoes I just added a little bit of sugar free ketchup and a few pickles these are the pickles that I have these Mount Olive Simply Pickles these I would recommend because like I, they say, they're simply pickles. They're just cucumber, water, vinegar, salt. I mean, they obviously have like the um, firming agents, the natural flavors and stuff like that. But as far as pickles go, these are much cleaner than all the other ones. You should read the labels. They put so much junk in there, um, especially sugar. Um, they usually put sugar in some of the pickles and there's no sugar in these. So these are really good. So I just have a few of those to crave my salty, um, need. Is that the right? A salty craving. <laughs> um, but here you go. going to be a great, it is a great lunch. I mean, it's, it's filling. It's everything that you need. So it is time for dinner. It's about 5.30 and I'm kind of hungry. I really haven't eaten too, too much today. So I am going to be making these Pad Thai rice noodles. I had these the other day and they're delicious. So there's about two servings left. So I'm just gonna cook up all of the noodles and all you do is put them in some boiling water for 10 minutes that's it i mean in hot water take the boiling pan off of the stove and let it sit in the hot water for 10 minutes then i'm going to dice up some onion um peppers then i have some soy sauce i'm going to make my own kind of sauce just a little bit of soy sauce for that salty flavor and this sugar-free orange ginger marinade by g hughes is delicious so i'm going to be putting some of that in along with some of this chili garlic sauce because i like some heat and I am going to sprinkle or drizzle, squeeze, that's the right word, squeeze some lime over the final dish. And then I am just gonna warm these edamame beans through um, after everything is done. So I am going to get to boiling the water for these and chopping up my vegetables. You had great patience, but something knocked you out. Felt your limitations and filled your mind with doubt.
You wanna stay chill right now And don't let your eyes off the prize I know you want it to be easy So let your guard down And I said So I am cooking my peppers and onions in some vegetable broth and the onions are pretty soft and so are the peppers. Well, I would say they're about a medium soft. I personally like um, my vegetables a little bitey, a little bit more firm. I think I might need a tiny bit more vegetable broth in there because I want to cook some of this garlic. I forgot about the garlic. So I'm going to add my garlic in and cook that for about a minute and get all the um, flavors to come out. Next I'm going to add my edamame, make sure my garlic doesn't burn. And now I am going to add my rice noodles. So here is the final dish. I just added some cilantro on top. I squeezed a wedge of lime just for a little bit of freshness, but I tasted it already and I know it's good because I had it a couple of days ago, but ah, it's so good. I love all of these flavors. So isn't it beautiful too? Maybe a little bit of a red pepper would bring out some more color, but there you go, there is my dinner for this evening, and I will come back on if I have something for dessert later. All right, it is a little past seven, and I'm gonna have a snack for this evening. I am going to be making air popper popcorn in my little dash maker here. I have some corn popcorn, and then on top of the popcorn, I'm gonna spray some olive oil, sprinkle some nutritional yeast over top, and some salt and that will be my quote unquote dessert for this evening my little treat so i'm just going to put the popcorn in here it goes right in this lid here you heat it up and it just pops it right into here so that's what i'm going to do And it's very hot, so I'm going to leave the few that are in there at the bottom. But here is your popcorn. Again, I'm just going to spray a little bit of oil. Mix it up. Spray a little bit more. Mix it up. And then now we're going to add some salt. and some nutritional ye yeast so of course you can add whatever toppings of your choice um if you're not vegan you could do um, ranch powder or something like that also tahine is delicious on top of popcorn too so that is my snack for this evening thank you everyone for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.